<laughs> now, look, this may surprise you, but uh, Trump doesn't seem to mind Ronnie Jackson's shady past. I if anything, in Trump's eyes, Dr. Ronnie is the victim. I said to Dr. Jackson, what do you need it for? So I don't want to put a man through a process like this. It's too ugly and too disgusting. And he has to listen to the abuse that he has to... I wouldn't, if I were him. Actually, in many ways, I'd love to be him. But the fact is, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. What? <laughs> in many ways, you'd love to be him? Like, I, I don't understand what that means. Is, is Trump saying he wishes he weren't the president? Or is, he, is it just like Trump wishing that he were his own doctor? <laughs> he's just like, he's so lucky. He gets to see me naked all the time, folks. <laughs> Do you know how nice it would be if I could see my dick? <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> but believe it or not, the administration was still pushing Dr. Jackson's nomination forward. And Kellyanne Conway even brought up a surprise character witness. The White House defiant and defending Ronnie Jackson's nomination to lead the VA, pointing to praise from former President Obama and pushing back on accusations against Jackson. I hope you're aware of their great referral for Ronnie Jackson. Continue to groom and promote this highly capable officer, a, quote, exceptional physician and leader. Ronnie has been a dedicated and valued member of my team. This came from President Barack Obama, 2014, 2016. Oh, now you want us to trust Obama? No, Kellyanne, no. Too late. That Kenyan invented ISIS. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Okay, fine, fine. Let's play Kellyanne's game. Yes, it's true. Obama praised Ronnie Jackson and suggested that he be promoted. But he never said Jackson should be promoted to run the VA. That's an enormous government bureaucracy with 360,000 employees. You can't take that one recommendation and move it to something else. That's like looking great in a bathrobe and someone makes you the new pope. That's not how it works. <laughs> because don't forget, don't forget, even if he didn't drink, even if he didn't drive drunk, and even if he didn't overprescribe drugs, Ronnie Jackson would still be far from qualified to run the VA. And in a way, all those senators who oppose him are lucky that these drug and alcohol allegations are coming up. Because if there's one thing we know, it's that on its own, being completely unqualified for a position doesn't keep you out of Donald Trump's cabinet. <laughs> if anything, it gets you in. And as far as experience is concerned, the Veterans Administration, which is approximately 13 million people, is so big, you could run the biggest hospital system in the world, and it's small time compared to the Veterans Administration. So nobody has the experience. <laughs> Donald Trump is like logic kryptonite. <laughs> No one has this exact experience. So in his mind, it doesn't matter if we just hired a seasoned professional or a toaster oven. <laughs> and look, I, I get that no one has run an organization as big as the VA, but you can still try giving it to someone with some relevant experience. Like at one point in time, no one had been to space. But NASA didn't go, hey, why don't we just send Jerry? Jerry's my dentist, <laughs> fantastic guy. No, they sent astronauts who trained for it, who previously flew planes, who studied space, who worked countless hours making black ladies do math for them. <laughs> and look, look, at the end of the day... At the end of the day, we know where this is headed. The president will have to find a new VA nominee. And knowing Trump, he's not going to search for a qualified person. He's just gonna pick another guy who says nice things about him. So I guess what I'm saying is, congratulations, VA Secretary Kanye West. <laughs> we'll be right back.